हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आई टू सी प्रोटोकॉल इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द एक्नॉलेजमेंट बिट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉट एक्नॉलेज बिट एंड समथिंग मोर नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई लेव दिस क्वेश्चन अन अटेंडेड एंड आई प्रोमिस दैट आई विल आंसर यू इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो and the question was what do you mean by master and slave in i2c protocol the term master is used for the controller which always initiates the transactions either it is write operation or read operation it is initiated by the master so that is called i2c master and slave is which always follows whether it is a write operation or read operation it always follows the master and other question that i asked in our previous video what is a not acknowledged bit or nac bit and when is it sent now let me reveal its answer friends in our previous video we discussed in detail about the acknowledged bit or ac bit we discussed that after transmitting 8 bits transmitter expects acknowledged bit from the receiver during the acknowledged bit transmitter releases the control of the bus so this bus this sd line should tend towards logic high but this is forced by the receiver to make it zero but now consider the case if receiver is not applying zero to this bit so this sd line will remain high during the acknowledgement bit but if this sd line remains high that bit is called not acknowledged bit friends in the figure you are seeing a not acknowledged bit in fact this is the absence of the acknowledged bit so that is why the sd line remains high because transmitter has released the control over the bus and receiver is not applying bit 0 the acknowledged bit on the ninth clock cycle so sd line remains high because of the pull up registers friends once this nac condition happens on the i2c bus the master can take two actions one is it can terminate the communication by sending the stop condition that is indicated by this symbol p or other option for the master is it can initiate another transaction by sending a repeat start symbol this is a new term again repeat start we will cover this term in the upcoming videos as a layman term repeat start is instead of releasing the control of the bus it can initiate a another transaction friends instead of releasing the control of the bus master initiating another transaction by sending a repeat start symbol is supported by i2c protocol only and we will cover this repeat start condition in detail in the upcoming videos friends now the very important question arises why the receiver does not send ac bit and the absence of ac bit becomes a nac bit but what are the conditions where receiver is not able to send the acknowledge bit let us discuss in detail friends i could identify five conditions in those five conditions receiver will not be able to send the ac bit to the transmitter let us see the first condition the first condition is if receiver is not present on the bus then what will happen who will send the acknowledgement bit there is no receiver on the i2c bus in that case no one will send the ac bit and it will become a nac bit in the ninth clock cycle of the clock now let us see the second condition second condition is where receiver is unable to receive or transmit because it is performing some real time function and it is not ready to start communication with the controller that means receiver is not ready it is busy somewhere else in that case also it will not send the ac bit let us see the third condition third condition is during the transfer the receiver gets data or commands that it does not understand now it has received something that it does not understand in that case also receiver will not send the ac bit and the fourth condition is during the transfer the receiver cannot receive any more data bytes in that condition also ac bit will not be sent for example let us say receiver has a register which is only 8 bits and controller thinks that its register is 32 bit so it is trying to send more than one byte 
in that case receiver will not send ACK bits. Now the last condition that is the fifth condition, a controller receiver must signal the end of transfer to the target transmitter. This condition is intentionally sent. The first four conditions are the error scenarios, but the fifth condition is intentionally generated condition where the controller receiver must signal end of the transfer to the ta target transmitter. Let me give you an example of this situation. Let us say our master is receiving data from the I2C slave. Now after first byte, master will give the acknowledgement bit. Now when the second byte is received, again master will give the acknowledgement bit. Slave will send the third byte and again master will give the acknowledgement bit. Now slave will give the fourth byte. Now master wants to end the communication here. Master is the receiver here. So it wants to end the communication because it wants to read only 32 bits because the register size available in slave is 32 bit only. It has to terminate the communication. Now instead of sending ACK bit, it will send the NAC bit. So that will indicate that this is end of communication. Friends, this was all about the NAC bit and we have covered all the five conditions. And I hope that this video would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.